everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how i do my own acrylic nails from home by myself so first i'm just buffing my nails to get all of the excess oil off of them and i'm also clipping down whichever ones were a little bit too long my nails were already really short so i didn't have to clip that much but yeah, I'm just buffing them and filing them down. So after I do that to both hands, now I'm going to take my cuticle pusher, I think that's what it's called, and <clears throat> I'm just pushing back my cuticles. Um, yeah, it's nothing to it, you just push it back. <laughs> and then I'm also going to be um, cutting them, but I don't do that much, like I push them all back and then I cut a few because... I've cut my fingers in the past. I'm not a professional, so I just do a little bit. <laughs> So now I'll be applying my nail tips and I'll be using the KDS nail glue. I love this glue. It is so strong. Like you just need a little dot and as soon as you put it on, it sticks. So now I'm just measuring out the nails to make sure that they fit. I do this a lot so I basically know which ones in the pack fit each nail. So I didn't really have to do that much measuring. but. Um, yeah, you just stick that joint on. So after I put them on, I just make sure that all the corners are um, stuck down nicely so that they don't lift. And then I'll be filing them down so that there's not like an obvious um, bump or whatever where the, the separation of the tip and the natural nail. Yeah, I'm just buffing them down so it's nice and smooth. So now I'm just dusting off all of that dust from off the fingers and now I'm clipping them down so that they're all the same size. And I'll be listing everything that I'm using in the description box. Everything that I'm using I bought off of Amazon so you can get all this stuff off of Amazon. So now I just go ahead and shape them. It's so much easier to shape them now instead of after you apply the acrylic. And I want it like a coffin shape. So I'm just clipping the sides little by little. 
um, it's better to do it like a little bit at a time so that way um, if you make any mistakes it's easy to fix it that way so I'm clipping and filing just to shape them This is definitely the longest part of the whole process, the shaping. And I definitely messed up on like a couple of my nails, like, and plus I have crooked fingers My um, on my left hand, I have two. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. I got two crooked fingers, so it's kind of hard to shape them. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not a professional. This is a D-U, what is it? D-I-Y. <laughs> so, I'm not beating myself up too much. They're not perfect, but at least I saved my money. <laughs> So now I'll be applying the acrylic. I'm using the, what is this? Um, Mia Secret, that's the brand. I'm using the liquid um, monomer, monomer, <laughs> I don't know. And the clear acrylic powder. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be applying it. Um, I don't have a good view of how I applied it. Oh yeah, and I'm priming as well. But um I'm not the best with applying the acrylic, so, like, I just do what works. <laughs> like, you know when you go to the nail salon, they don't really drag it that much. They kind of just pat it on. I be trying to do that, but I always end up dragging it, so. But at the end of the day, it looked good, and my nails always stay on for a long time, so I'm not mad. Oh, here I tried to give y'all another view of me applying it. Like I said, like I'd just be dragging that thing. But honestly, I just feel like if you have quality products, like all this stuff is supposedly professional <laughs> stuff. And I just feel like if you have quality stuff, it doesn't matter if you're not good at it. It'll still end up coming out pretty decent because of the products that you use. But don't quote me on that, y'all. If y'all stuff come out looking bad, it's not my fault.
all right so now i've got all the acrylic on now i'm just going in and i'm fixing the shape and buffing them so they're nice and smooth and even and this process is made so much easier since i already shaped them before i put the acrylic on And this is the step where you fix all your mistakes when applying the acrylic. Like, you could have done a terrible job at applying the acrylic, but now you can fix it when you buff them and file them. Because if you have a really good filer, and I also have a drill, like if I did a really botched job, but I didn't do too bad this time, so the filer worked for me. Okay, they look cute. So now I'm going to be applying the clear coat. I'm not like a big colors person. I just really like nude nails or just like a clear coat. So that's what I'm doing. Um, like I said, I'll be listing all of the products and the brands that I use in the description box so that you guys can get it. But yeah, I'm just applying it on the nails and then sticking it under the um, UV light for a minute. Alright, so thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new and leave a nice little comment and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!